Hello guys, welcome! In today's video, I want to share with you a very useful tip regarding MailChimp and Google Sheet. Basically, the, the flow that I want to set up for you here using Zapier is how to add subscribers to your MailChimp using this Google spreadsheet. Basically, I have here first name, last name, email. You can add some custom fields, but let me show you how this is going to work and we define one uh, from scratch. So basically, I will add here one record, for example, my details. When I hit enter, uh, Zapier detected this new row and will send to MailChimp. So basically, let me do this and I will force to run because I already defined one so it's looking for new items found a new item and sent to uh, to MailChimp as you can see here great great so let me go to MailChimp and we are going to see here I'm sending to this Zapier training let me open this not yet let me just reload yes it's appearing here okay that's good very simple let me show you how to set up this we are going to create a new one uh, make a zap so go here so when you create a new zap basically you need to define the source app and the target app so let's go with google sheet it's appearing here great so now i need to set up what is the trigger to monitor so let's take this when a new spreadsheet row is added Okay, let me select my account, save and continue, and I already have the Google spreadsheet that, that I defined it, okay? You can create a new one. So this is one, add subscribe to MailChimp 2. Now I can select the worksheet that is page one. That's it, good, just continue. Okay, now I have some uh, data previously uh, that I loaded, okay, but you can you can do some tests if you want. So let me continue here. All right, so what is the target system? The target system is mating. So just pick up matching and what I want to do, what is the action that I want to do? I want to add or update a subscriber. You have other options as you can see here, okay. You can, you can search for a specific subscriber. Let's say you want to update uh, one, uh, one, one content with more details. You can search for this content by mail, for example, and you can uh, create an update using here Zapier. So let me take this account, great. Now I can define the match of the field. So what is the list I want to add in matching? This is the list. What is the email? This is the email. Uh, double opt-in no let me use a single opt-in uh, I, if I want to update an existing one if I want to add some groups and if you need if you want to to match to match the custom fields just click here on the refresh and it will bring the custom fields that you added in the admin list so good let me add my first name last name and that's it okay let me continue good i can do some tests i can send some information and okay done just finish this uh, give a name like uh, add subscribers to matching okay let me just turn on this zap okay all right so it's here my new one let me Turn it off, this specific one, and test to see if it's working. Okay, let me list you, two, two, that's it. Just save it, let's see if this is going to work. Let me force. You know that uh, uh, Zipper will run automatically, it's around 5 to 15 minutes, but you can do this that is forced to run manually if you want, but if uh, on the daily daily routine you are not going to do this, okay? I'm going to for the reason of the class. All right, let me just reload at MailChimp and that's it. It's appearing here. That's nice. Okay? Awesome. 
All right, so you can see that is really simple to create. In five minutes, I was able to set up this process that will help you a lot to streamline uh, your uh, your business process. If you want to know more about Zapier, I have a training that I created so you can learn more about Zapier. So uh, take a look, it's in the link below of this video. Uh, if you have more questions, leave in comments, suggestions about the news apps. If you liked this video, just like, subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.